In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle higher order reflective constructs in CBSEM in Smart PLS. So let's build a higher order construct out of decision quality and information acquisition. Let's pretend those are two dimensions of the same construct. So what I would do is click on latent variable, create a latent variable here. I will just call this HOC for now for higher order construct. You can call yours whatever you want. I'm going to connect this to this and this to this. But notice when I do that, it turns these orange. So I need to go delete those. And then I need to connect this higher order construct with the other latent factors. One last thing I need to do is apply a path constraint to one of these two paths. Notice on these others, if I zoom in, that one of the paths is constrained to be one. This is one of the assumptions in covariance based methods. So let me just double click this one to decision quality, put a constraint of one on that, hit apply. It all turns blue. I can run this, calculate basic, and just run it. And it works. We have now correlations with the higher order construct. We have loadings for those two dimensions. And if I zoom in, we can see how those turned out. Here they are, fairly well synced. We have all of our reliability statistics and AVE for the lower order dimensions, but notice we do not have it for the higher order dimension. If I were to zoom in here, you can see that it's just zeros. And the reason is Smart PLS is looking for indicators on that latent factor, but it has no indicators. And I can't just use the repeated indicator approach because that would include all of the lowest order measures as a single latent factor, which is not what we're looking for. We're trying to better understand how the two first order dimensions work together to make this higher order construct. So to calculate the Chromax alpha, the composite reliability and the ABE for this higher order construct, we need to use latent variable scores. The way to do that is over here on the left, you'll see there's a latent variables. And below that you have factor scores in the factor scores area. We're going to take these factor scores and just click copy to Excel over in the right. It will then copy it to your clipboard, which you can then go paste to a blank workbook. And here are those factor scores. Now I only need information acquisition and decision quality for what I'm showing you today, but it did produce latent variable scores or factor scores for each of the latent factors. So I'm going to get rid of the things I don't need just to keep things simple. And I'm going to copy everything except the headers. Just copy that. And then I need to go put it in the data set I was using. Now the data set I'm using is let's see if I go back, it's the bootcamp original data set. So I need to go find that, which for me, I know it is in my downloads folder. Here's the bootcamp original, open that up in SPSS or Excel or however you have your data. And once that opens, create two new variables at the bottom, one for decision quality, one for info acquisition. Sorry, that's small, but I'm walking you through it verbally. I'll make sure these are listed as scale and then go and paste that data in with control V or command V. And now we have those latent variable scores in there. I will save this as a different data set save as let's save this as instead of original, we'll just say HOC and save that. And then back over in smart PLS, we need to go back. Yes, I'll save this, but I'm going to create a new model. So I'm just going to right click the one we were just on and I'm going to hit duplicate. And I'll just call this instead of CFA initial, I'll call this CFA HOC create. And I'm going to right click that and import a data file, which is the new one we just created this bootcamp HOC. I'll accept the defaults for now. Go back and now open up this model CFA HOC change the data set. This is a very important step to the data set we want, which for me is this bootcamp HOC. And then let's go ahead and delete these latent factors, the first order dimensions, and insert instead 
the latent variable scores down here at the bottom. Drag those over. Make it look pretty. And then make sure there is a constraint of 1 on one of them. It looks like it did put that on there for me. And we can now calculate basic run. And there you have it. That ran. Let me scroll down so you can see it. So we still have those correlations. We have loadings that are roughly the same as they were before. And if I hover over it, we have those Chromex Alpha reliability and AVE. And they should show up just the same over here in the quality criteria tables. So there it is. That's how you implement a higher order construct in the CBSEM side of Smart PLS 4 and how you assess its reliability and validity. Now, at the time I'm making this, I'm using Smart PLS version 4.1.0.0. By the time you're watching this, there may be options to create data files out of your latent variable scores, or they may have just fixed the ability to see higher order construct reliabilities. Hopefully that's the case, but until then, hopefully this is helpful.